everybody! Welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. This is part two of our tie-dye t-shirt tutorial. Now before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. And hit that bell icon because that will alert you to when I post a new video. We clearly have a little guest here today. This is our kitten Magnolia. She just wouldn't leave me alone, so here she is in our video. Now today I'm going to show you how to take that tie-dye t-shirt from part one and add some HTV. Now this right here is foil, so it's a really fun product, super easy to use, and you can do a lot with it. And all I did was just added a simple monogram to this really cute tie-dyed shirt. You can do a lot with this, and honestly, with tie-dyed shirts, you can add any kind of HTV that you would like to them. You just treat them just like any other t-shirt. So let's go over to Design Space so I can show you guys how we're going to use Troy Graham to make our monogram. I'm going to show you guys another way that we can do a monogram super quick, super easy, and you can thicken the font if you want. So all I've done is gone to TroyGram.com and I went to monograms and three letter monogram. And this walks you through it. It's really easy to use. So your first initial would be C for mine. The last initial you do in uppercase is a B and your middle initial in lowercase. And then you can select the font. Now the one thing you need to make sure is that you do have these fonts downloaded to your computer or they will not load through his website. There are directions here on how to find each of the fonts he has loaded. Now you can change your font size, which will obviously change where it sits. You can also change how thick your font is. So you can go like super fat or you can go a little bit thinner. We're doing this in a foil, so I do want to do it kind of chunky. And then you can nudge your letters around, which just moves them to the left or to the right, and you can just scooch them wherever you want them to sit. And you can do that with each of your letters. So your first letter, the second letter, and the third letter, and then you can actually move them up and down as well. So you can, you know, kind of manipulate it however you want, and then you can change your canvas size, which just gives you a little bit more space. Um, but we'll just do it this way. So then all you need to do is you just click Save Image As. It's going to save it as a PNG. So I'm just going to save it as Monogram into my Cricut folder. And we'll go over to Design Space and click on Upload. Oops. Mine always does that. I don't know if anyone else does, but mine totally likes to open the picture after I've saved it. So go to Upload Image, click on Browse. You'll go to your Cricut folder, and you'll find your monogram, which I'm just going to type in monogram. It should come up no problem. And you'll see that it's already going to load. Nothing too big deal, but I always choose complex on these because that way it just gives you a cleaner line, in my opinion. You don't have to do that. You don't have to clean this up at all because of the way it saves as a PNG with no background. And then you just want to make sure to save it as a cut file, which is the one on the right-hand side. We're just going to go ahead and click insert the image. And then we can move our image or change the size of our image based on how large we want it for our shirt. Um, this is going on a size large. It's going on that tie-dyed shirt I showed you. So you don't want to go too long with it. And you don't want to go too wide, if that makes sense. So I will sometimes just measure on myself to get an idea of how long something is. But I don't think we want to go any larger than probably about seven, maybe seven and a half inches tall. And I think the five inches, um, almost six inches wide, will be absolutely perfectly fine. Now, I'm going to show you guys a quick trick. So since we're doing this on um, HTV foil, we will need to mirror it. But there is a trick, if you guys tend, tend to forget to mirror things, you can go here and go flip, and you can actually flip it around so that it's backwards automatically. And when you go to make it, you don't have to try to remember to mirror it. It's already going to be mirrored. So we're going to click continue, and hopefully it will connect to my machine. A lot of people have been having this issue where it's not connecting right away, um, and then you have to go back, cancel your cut, but... It is what it is. Now this you're going to treat like regular iron on and I'm going to show you guys the adhesive that we're going to use and how to cut it and then we'll weed it. So the foils you have to purchase a separate adhesive because they don't come with one and what you're going to get is this sort of foggy looking sheet and it does have a shiny side but it is hard to feel or to tell so I usually do it by feel. The adhesive side feels a little bit rough and the transfer tape or transfer mask side is smooth. So you'll want to keep that in mind 
when you're going to put this on because again you treat this just like regular iron on so you're going to go ahead and put it on your mat i'll take you over to the machine and we're going to cut it like i said just on the regular iron on settings so you don't have to do anything special as far as your settings with this it cuts just like regular iron on so we'll go ahead and click the go button the little cricket icon this we're going to press at um the adhesive part we'll press at 305 for just five seconds and then what we do is we let that cool for a moment or two and then we'll put the um, foil on top of it this is such a fun product I really enjoy it it's very pretty once it's on I can't wait to show you guys how to do this but I'm gonna get this cut out and then I'll show you guys it weeding this weeds just like regular HTV and it's really actually very easy to see where it's cut and I don't know how well you guys can see that on your screen but it is very easy to see where it's cut. Um, I am using a pin pen on this. I don't like the hook tool on a lot of these things. And once you get an edge up, you can peel, peel it pretty easily. Like I said, it peels just like regular HTV. It's super easy to do. And like I said, it's really easy to see. I, I really hope you guys can see how easy it is to see the cut lines. Because I have... Um, I was worried when I did this product that it would be very, very hard to see where I cut and that I would struggle weeding it, but it weeds really easy and it's really easy to see. So we'll get this all weeded out and you can see guys how quickly this goes. I mean, it's, it's pretty well, um, it's pretty easy to do and you, and it does, I mean, kind of rip apart, but all HTV in my opinion does that to a point especially with thin lines. And so I'm gonna stick all this in my weeding ring so it doesn't end up everywhere. Um, I will speed up the weeding for you guys. Sorry, I keep bumping you. And then we'll get to the heat press. I know it's a little hard to see, but I do use the trick where I fold the t-shirt in half and I make a line so that I have a center to work on. And then I just sort of center the B. And then I'm going to pick up the shirt and I hold it away from the press so I can see if it's straight or not because it's not always the easiest to tell. But yep, that's pretty darn straight. So you're going to press this at 305 with a medium pressure for five seconds. You'll want to make sure you do put your Teflon sheet over it. I'm going to slide my shirt back in and under my press. We're going to push this down and hit the down arrow. It's going to go, like I said, for five seconds. So it's a real quick press. I'm going to go ahead and lift that up. And you're going to press the down arrow to turn off the timer, because I love to leave that on. And then all you're going to do is peel your transfer sheet off. And you do want to do this while it's relatively hot. And you're going to let this cool down. And while that cools, you can cut your foil and get that prepared. And I did that, of course, I left all the way on the other side of the room. But I can show you guys. So I've just cut the foil, and you can see the foil is really like light and airy, hence it's foil. So we're going to let this cool down a little bit. You cool it until it's not tacky. It's still a little tacky, but not super. So we'll let it cool for just another moment. And then this part, you are going to press, and let me just triple check my notes. You are going to press this for 15 seconds. You are going to put your color side up when you do this. Not the silver side, but the color side. This comes in a ton of colors. All right, we're pretty good on that, so we just want to make sure our shirt is nice and smooth. Cover your item with your foil. Now, I do have a very large piece of foil. I could have totally used a smaller sheet, but this is what I had, so... I used a really big sheet and you get them in really long rolls they're 25 feet so you can get a lot so what I'm gonna do is just change my timer so to do that I hit set I hit set again and then I just hit the up arrow hit set hit set again you hit set a bunch and then all we're gonna do is press and press down and let that 15 second timer count down once this is done we're gonna let that foil cool 100% we're gonna let that sit for a while Make sure it's 100% nice and cold. So once it's done pressing again, just lift the press, hit the down arrow, and go over. And what we're going to do is I'm going to let this cool on the press. I don't want to risk moving the foil. So as soon as that's cool, um, we will come back and I'll show you guys how to take it off. The foil is completely cool. This part is super duper important. 
you want to peel it off like a band-aid. So I'm going to grab both sides and I am just going to hold the shirt down with one hand and then rip it off just like a band-aid. Now with this one I can tell you there's a few spots that it didn't adhere very well and that is likely more of a pressing issue less of a foil issue. Um, I actually like the way it looks on the tie-dye but you can try to go back in and um, fill it in if you have like extra foil so you can turn your heat press back on and let it heat back up and then you can repress some foil over it and you're just going to do the same thing where you rip it up. So we'll go ahead and do that really quick, see if we can fix some of these little spots where it didn't adhere very well, and then we will have our finished shirt. Here is our finished foil shirt. Now I'm going to move it around a little bit, hopefully you guys can see, but look at how shiny that is. Isn't that really, really pretty? I love this foil. And like I said, it comes in a ton of colors, a ton of patterns, and it's really easy to work with, which is great. Just make sure that when you do order your foil that you are ordering the foil adhesive that goes with it because otherwise it's not going to stick to your shirt. You have to have the adhesive part. But again, I showed you guys, it's so easy to do and it's a lot of fun and you can actually do different colors. You could um, just do strips of each color, however you guys wanted to do it. But with this shirt with being so many colors, I just wanted something simple and fun. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Hit that bell icon because that will let you know when I post a new video. Have a great day and happy crafting!